Hey there, welcome back to The Magic and the Music. I'm Jen. I'm Randall. <laughs> Today, we're going to be answering the big question. Why in the world would you choose to buy Disney Vacation Club's newest resort, Riviera? Well, we did it, and we're going to talk about why. Let's get started. Why, why, why did we why? buy into Riviera? Why? Why, why Jen? Why? Because I wanted to. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's and the part. video's over. <laughs> it's Thanks over. for joining us. Thanks it's for the good stuff. No, no, no actually, there's more to it. Now. Yeah, there's more to it than that. <laughs> I would say, well, first of all, we already were Disney yeah. Vacation Club owners. We had a few contracts already, mm -hmm. and we uh, saw the information about it. We actually bought the first week that it was available to purchase. Yeah, yeah. They had some good deals going on back then. And uh, well, it was certainly the lowest the cost would ever be per yeah. point. We knew that coming in. And I had been following it really, really closely for mm -hmm. ever since they'd announced it. When they said <laughs> French Riviera and Italian Riviera, I was like, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in. You have yeah. to, you got to mess this up for me to be out. <laughs> yeah. Jen is a real big fan of the French Pavilion and French <laughs> and France. And actual and France Ratatouille. too. And, and like Italy too. Yeah. I liked Italy. Oh, that yeah. was very hot when we went there, but yeah, it was hot. But no. <laughs> So uh, as soon as it opened up, I kind of knew I wanted yeah. to add on there, even though we didn't really need more points. But mm -hmm. it just I knew we were going to want to stay there. And I also knew that like new resorts are usually really hard to book. Yeah. And so I thought we're going to need to own there if we want to have any chance at the less expensive room. The first reason I would say we bought at Riviera is because mm -hmm. the theme, I think, really spoke to us. Yeah. yeah. Right? It yeah. really reminded me of our honeymoon. Yeah. It was it was great. I mean, you know, French Riviera, good styling. Um, Can't really go wrong. Yeah. This resort really does match the style, and it even is super, super evocative of Hotel Negresco. Negresco. Hotel Negresco. Yes. In, I don't know if it's in Nice or Cannes, but it's in, it's in the south of France. Fun fact. <laughs> yes. We discovered <laughs> that it is the filming location of the Elton John music video for the song I'm Still, I'm standing. Still standing and Dancer dancer, um, and Judge from um, Dancing with the Stars. Thank you. Thank you. Dancing with the Stars. Bruno Tognoli Bruno. as a dancer is in this and it's awesome. You've got yeah, to see it's, it. It's well, pretty epic. We're gonna inc we have to include some footage here in a couple <laughs> shots. And, but you can see that it has that same like tower thing. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, tower studios are basically basically what this is modeled yeah after. yeah it's got a different color scheme but yeah it has that same kind of look so anyway we were all in for the theming yes. we were all in for it. it was like yes disney take my money so then we knew the theme was gonna be great and we were like waiting for the floor plans yes and the the studio which we usually stay in because we have a family mm -hmm. of four the studio was over 400 square feet i believe it's the second largest studio yes. on property at disney world of dvc studios and we were like Bingo, that's gonna yeah. work for us. A big studio is kind of what we need. Oh, I think everyone wants that. Yeah. And it had the fold down twin again, which a lot it's of them great. do, but that was great. Yeah. Um, so that was just like a really a winning combo. We knew yeah. we were gonna want to stay there. I had been watching like on the map, like the angle and the lines of sight, mm -hmm. and I knew that the standard rooms were going to have potentially have Magic Kingdom and Epcot yes. fireworks views, which we have had already. We've stayed. Mm -hmm. And, um, and it was great, and I was like, uh-oh, we're not going to be able to get a standard studio unless we own some points there. Yeah. So we did it. Uh, one other thing I didn't mention before is that this is the resort where they started using the Queen Murphy beds. Oh, yes. So they're using that, like, in the one bedroom, mm -hmm. um, and also in the studio, even. Yeah. They have the, the large Murphy bed that folds down rather than the pull-out couch. I think that's awesome. Yeah. Game all of, changer. Yes, all of the resorts need to do this yes. going forward. So Please. that was another thing. We wanted to send a message to them like, these are the features we want. <laughs> they nailed it on the studios, also yeah. having that split bathroom, mm -hmm. like they have at Polynesian. Um, and Grand Floridian has that too. I thought that was super smart. So it was mm -hmm. like, yes, we vote for rooms, more rooms like this. Yes. Keep building these. It's good. Let's talk about one of the loves of your life. The Skyliner. I love the Skyliner. Yeah, yeah. It combines two things that I, I love a lot, and that is infrastructure <laughs> <laughs> and engineering. Oh, you had me in infrastructure. So sexy. <laughs> yes, it is. No, <laughs> I thought you were going to say electric 
transportation. <laughs> yes, electric, electric forms transportation. of transportation. I do, I do like electric Because you have an electric car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Skyliner is awesome. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. it's epic. It's epic. And honestly, we watched so many videos of the Skyliner yes. under construction. Yes. And it was really fun to watch kind of the progress and see how it was going and, you know... We were definitely Skyliner yeah. fans. Yeah. We are Skyliner fans. Yeah, yeah. And everybody like saying, oh my gosh, you won't get me in those death traps. But we were saying, get but, us put in Put us those, in the death traps. We're but ready. they're not. They're great. They're, it's great, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Skyliner is awesome. If you didn't know, yes, Riviera has access via Skyliner to Epcot and to Hollywood Studios. Yeah. And it has its own station, which is cool. Yeah, it's great. I love it. All right, and of course we've stayed and we've used the Skyliner numerous yes, times and we've yes. had really great experiences. Let me tell you, uh, strollers, it's a game changer. Oh, yes. It, it also gives a wheelchair uh, ECV. Yeah, it's yeah. Great. Honestly, anything where you got to roll onto something, it's, it's way easier than using the bus. So the next reason that Riviera was a great fit for yeah. us is because it has access to Epcot and Hollywood Studios and I would argue, I think those are our favorite parks. Yeah. They're the ones we go to probably the most. But most definitely we, we love, love Epcot them. and Hollywood Studios. So. Yeah, so we want that access. Yeah. We actually have a Magic Kingdom home resort mm -hmm. we area home resort. We have an Animal Kingdom area home mm -hmm. resort. Spoiler alert, there's only one. <laughs> and, um, and then this was cool because it kind of like killed two birds with one stone. It got us a right. Epcot Hollywood Studios area resort. So we're like, yeah, yeah we got them all. All right, so are there any negatives to purchasing Riviera Resale? And this this is where I had reservations, um, and she had to do some convincing. Yeah, this is the part yes. that people really diss yes. on Riviera about, and kind of for good reason, so yeah. you want to tell them? <laughs> yeah, so the bad news is, is that if you buy Riviera, there is a big resale restriction, and that is that if you sell it to somebody, resell it, then they can only stay at that resort. With those points, yeah. With those points. So we don't know exactly how that's going to impact the resale val value of those points long term. Mm -hmm. You know, this might be a resort that no one wants to buy because it has these restrictions. Right, and another point about this is that over time, as there are more contracts resold yeah. from Riviera, and more people who can only book at Riviera, it might actually make it harder to book at Riviera. Yes, yes. And Thus these... making us need to own points at Riviera so we can stay there. It's like a, it's like a horrible <laughs> cycle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like it's a profit deal. I know, it's almost <laughs> like we're trying to make money off it. Who knew? Oh, uh, <laughs> man. How do we kind of rationalize the resale restriction? Well, I mean, I think we don't really like plan on selling is kind of our main thing. I think, right. Right. But, is, but yeah. if we do, the way I kind of dealt with it is if we ever sold them, mm -hmm. this would be the very last contract we'd sell. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. So that, that issue of it having potentially a little bit depleted value yeah. because of the resale restrictions. Um, you know, we just, we don't plan on selling it. Yeah. We'd have to sell other contracts first to get to that one. Yeah, definitely. So, um, if it was your only resort, I might not be too thrilled about it. And actually, I will say this, if you own at multiple resorts, I wouldn't recommend purchasing a huge amount of points at Riviera because of yeah. those restrictions. For us, we were only comfortable with it because we did a small, a smaller amount. Yeah. So one other thing that we really did like about this and, and also sold me on this was the length of the contract. At this point, this was a full contract. So we yeah, were able to get 50, 50 years, yeah. years out of it, it. Right. And on a per point basis, that makes it a good deal. A better value. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. I wouldn't be comfortable buying a ton of points there. I'd rather, you know, yeah. be a little more economical with it because it's not the cheapest. Sure. No, and definitely not the they're cheapest. They're expensive rooms too. And yeah, and the rooms are expensive. The way we kind of work around it though is we like to do split stays. So we'll do mm -hmm. three or four nights at Riviera. Like we kind of tend, we've done I think always four, and yeah. um, and then we'll go somewhere else too, <laughs> maybe more economical. So then we get to have a little taste of that, but yeah. then we aren't. It's not a super expensive vacation. So it's been good yeah. so far. Have we stayed at our Riviera home resort yet? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. It was fantastic, yeah. and we got to stay there before the pandemic. Lucky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we it saw was it really pre, good. 
pre-pandemic. In its full glory. We, we stayed there yeah. about five, six weeks after it opened. So it was a really great experience. Mm -hmm. It lived up to everything that we were hoping for. I think I have very few criticisms of the resort. Maybe one of my only criticisms is that the lobby is a little bit underwhelming. It's just kind of small. Yeah. Other than that, though, like everything else is pretty awesome. Yeah, and food's great. Yeah, um, I, I the love ambiance is great. Of the look of it, you know, I yeah. love I love the compact uh, aspect of the the resort. Right, it's not like a it's Old not... Key West or a Saratoga Springs where you're having to yeah. take an internal shuttle or like a Animal Kingdom Kidani where you are like half yeah. a mile from the Remote. lobby. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, and it's all in air conditioning. Yeah, and uh, honestly, I would say if you're looking for a resort and you have some guests who are not so mobile, then you know this might be a good resort I for you. I agree, that it would be a really good choice. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us what you think about Riviera. Are you going to buy there? Are you not going to buy there? Why? Did you buy there? Are we crazy for buying there? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we want to hear from you, yeah. so make sure you comment below and tell us uh, your, your feelings about Riviera. Thanks so much for joining us today. Go check out our other videos on mm -hmm. our channel. Hang out, stay a while. We would love it. And yeah. we always love to get feedback from you. Thanks so much for joining us today. Bye, everybody. Bye.